We got a man named your enemy. So it's right here today. That's why you feel your anointing. The strong anointing in here. Glory. Praise the Lord. Your anointing is very strong. I don't know if you can feel it. I don't know if you sense it. But it's very strong. Glory to God. Glory to God. Oh Lord. Yeah. Oh. Jesus. We got your one here. One here. It seems like hell and earth. But God is still on the throne and never forsake his own. Praise the Lord. Mm -hmm. God is good. My God. It's just wonderful to be saved. And uh, my favorite friend is here today. Give it up to Sister Tracy. She's here today. Let me give you one more scripture again. I tell you, I can give you a lot of scriptures here. I can go and go, go study. Because you have a couple more days before the year is done. Isaiah 14. You got it? Yes. Alright, then go to Isaiah 1 then. You fast on me. You too fast. You gotta slow you down. Go to Isaiah 1. Oh Jesus. Oh sweet the name. Jesus. Every day the same. Jesus. 
Let our sins proclaim its worthy praise forever. All right, wonderful. Wonderful. Some of you may not know it, but this year coming, I'll be sending out my first album by myself. First one will come up and I tell you what, yes. Yeah, they'll come up Bible class and set the man to hear it. Amen. All right, all right, all right. That's 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 is in the making, okay? Yes, yes. Because God wants me to send him word in all different ways. I may not sing about the Lord, I'll have me to do this. Yes, Praise the Lord. Praise God. Isaiah 1. Yes. You got it? Verse 10. Yes, Hear the word of the Lord, ye rulers of Sodom. Give ear unto the law of our God, ye people of Gomorrah. Yes. To what purpose is the multitude of your sacrifice unto me? Says the Lord. I'm full of burnt offering, of rams, and fat of fed beasts. And I am delight not in blood of bullocks, or of lamb, or of goats. When you come to appear before me, who has required this your hand of your hand? Require this your hand at your hand to tread my court? Bring no more vain obligation ob oblation in this incense. In incense. Incense. And an abomination unto me, the new moon and the Sabbath, the calling of assembly. I cannot away with it. It is iniquity. Even the solemn meeting. Your new moons and your point feast may as well hate it. They are a trouble unto me. Um weary to bear them. God speak. Yes, sir. God speak. Yes, sir. Come clean. Hallelujah. Oh, oh. Yes. And you got a full dose of the scripture this morning. Mm -hmm. I have nothing to do with the message. Yes, but the Lord has given them to read them to you. Yes. Somebody need to hear them. Yes. Some of us need to hear them. Yes. Because we picky picky with the scriptures. You only want to read certain things. Yes. The Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. So the Lord says, stretch it out. Yes. Praise the Lord. Praise God. So I take it to these scriptures. So I can open your eyes. So you can see God in a perfect way. God's resurrecting power. Open your eyes. Yes. So you can see God's ways. Yes. And I want to say to you, uh, I want you to say to yourself then, I can see clearly now yes. the mist is gone. Yes. Gone from my eyes. I can see all obstacles in my way. Why? Because I stop reading one scripture all the time. It's not a venture out now. So today I will use for a subject, I see the light. Amen. I see the light. Mm -hmm. Woo! You who are in Christ. You came out of darkness. Yes. Yeah. And into God's marvelous light. light. Amen. You are a royal priest. Yes. Mm -hmm. A peculiar people. Mm -hmm. A holy nation. Yeah. Don't put yourself down. No, that's right. You are now walking in the light. Yes. God's beautiful light. Yes. God wants you to understand his word. He wants to see the light. Mm -hmm. If you are in the light, if you are in the light, walk in the light. In the light. Yes. Don't go into darkness. No. No yes, in other words, look at things God's way now. Yes. Walk in the light of His Word. Yes. So you can be blessed yes. and be a blessing to somebody else. Yes. Right. Yeah. Mm-mm. Stop interpreting God's word. Allow the word to interpret itself. 
Seek to know, hear a little, give a little, line upon line, precept upon precepts. Praise the Lord. You know that those who are wise in self cannot know the real power of God's truth. Mm -hmm. That's right. I said, when you're wise in yourself, yes. you will never know God's yes. truth. Yes, sir. Amen. The Bible says, I hope it, uh, do you believe the Bible? Yes, sir. I hope you believe in the Bible because every Sunday you come here, this is my Bible. This is my Bible. Amen. Okay? Yes, sir. Why? Because the Bible is God's word to you. Yes. Amen. I said, the word of God is to you. Yes. Yes, sir. That's okay. Amen. The Bible is our instruction book. Are you with me? Yes. Hallelujah. So the Bible says in Second First Corinthians, uh -huh, First Corinthians chapter two, from verse nine to verse sixteen. From verse nine to sixteen. For to this hand also did I write that I might know the proof of you when you are obedient in all things. That's what the word did to you. To whom we, am I writing reading right there? No. Did I say 1 Corinthians? Yes, sir. Chapter 2, 9. What is just written? Oh gosh, where am we going to 2 Corinthians? You know where I come from? Age. <laughs> the pastor getting old. <laughs> One guy called me yesterday, thought that we were in the same age bracket. Just so the pastor. You know, Mr. Two. So, how old are you? The man, I'm 74. He said, Oh my God, man, you are 24 years older than me. <laughs> and thought we were in the same age bracket. <laughs> yeah, I see the light. <laughs> but as it is written, yes. I have not seen, nor hear heard, neither have entered into the heart of men the things which God has prepared for them that love Him. Woo. But God has revealed them unto us by Spirit. For the Spirit searched all things, yea, the deep things of God. For what man knoweth the things of man? Says the Spirit of man, which is in him. Even so, the things of God knoweth no man, but the Spirit of God. Oh, Father, see me going? Mm -hmm. No, we have received not the Spirit of the world, but the Spirit which is of God, that we might know that we might know the things that are freely given unto us. You need to search your Bible. There's a lot of goodies in there for you. We see it all so you speak not in the words which man's wisdom teacheth, but which the Holy Ghost teacheth, comparing spiritual things with spiritual. If you're going to look into the Bible in spiritual things, and you start looking natural, you're not going to get it. He's not going to get it. What do you mean by spiritual things, Pastor? Believe what the Word says. Yes, that is what spiritual thing is. Believe what the Word says. Yes. The Word of God. Yes. But the natural man receives not the things of the Spirit of God. For they are foolishness unto him. That's what you're saying. Neither can he know them. Why? Because they are spiritual discerned. You need the Spirit of God to discern stuff through you. But he that is spiritual judges all things. Yet he himself is judge of no man. For who has known the mind of the Lord that we might instruct him? Who? 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 But we have Christ's mind. That makes a difference, isn't it? When you have the mind of Christ. Oh, Jesus. This is why we are instructed by the word that only in the spirit yes. we are to correct and guide people. Amen. That's right. That's right. Say it again. 
The Bible says, brothers, if a man be overtaken in a fall, if you are spiritual, you are one to correct him. If you are not spiritual, you have a fight on your hand. You who walk in the Spirit are guided by the Holy Spirit should be the one to restore such a one. Because if you do it in the flesh, you might fall for the same thing. When you do it in the flesh, you're no more powerful than him. Oh God. Do not listen to me. I say, if the things in the flesh, you fall for it. You need a spirit to over to overrule everything that come up against you. Yes. All right, nobody believe me, so let me say. If you think you are that strong, make something there somewhere where you like, and you look at it in the flesh and see what happens. Now, some of us have been taught by mama not to do wrong things. Yes. And we hold on to it. Yes, but you can recall, some of the time you slip in the loop. That's right. Amen. All those things. Yes. Some of the time mama said not to do. do you find yourself doing it. Yes, and then you grow up. Mm-hmm. And some go all the way with it, end up in prison. Why some do it on the cover? If you like me, you do it on the cover. Mm. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, got me to talk to you about like one on one today. If you do it in the flesh, you're going to have a problem. Because when you do it in the flesh, you may fall for it. So God revealed the truth to you. He shine the light and those things to you so you can see the hidden things of the Spirit. He opened the truth to you. He opened your understanding to the truth. That's what I mean by I shine the light on it. And it shine so you can see I saw the light. What do you mean? I understand it now. Now we are going into what it means mm-hmm. by the light. By the Why? Light. Because the word of God says in Proverbs. Anybody say I got Proverbs right now? They don't know you. <laughs> 20. Proverbs 20. You got it? Proverbs 20. You got it? Yes, sir. 27. The spirit of a man is a candle of the Lord, searching all the inward parts of the belly. God put a light in you, see? Maybe we go ahead and myself, but may I tell you this. What is the light? There are some people with the conscience of man. Mm. Some people believe this to be the conscience of man, saying it is given to man by God to serve. As a lamp. In other words, God threw light in our thoughts, yes. or on our thought motives, or affection, or well. actions. And because of this, Second Timothy 3 16 says it is given by man. Oh. Mm hmm. Am I right? Ooh. Sometimes we just can't get it right. All scripture is given by inspiration of God, you know. Yes. Oh. Huh? You got it? Yes. Second Timothy 3 16. All scripture is given by the inspiration of God. You know, it says something now. All scriptures yeah. by inspiration of God. And it is 
profitable for doctrine, for reproof, for correction, for instruction in righteousness. All scriptures. Mm -hmm. Whoa. It is like a, a searchlight. It is God's spiritual searchlight. It's a proof, a reproof, the innermost thoughts and the intent of our lives. Our heart, what a oh gosh. Where we say no, sir, don't kick it. No, no, no. He don't kick it with God. No, not one hour. No. It's searchlight. Get him to you tomorrow. Yes, sir. Mm -hmm. And the battle line is this. God is bigger than our dress code. Amen. That's it. You could address it. Dress for impressive how much as you want. That's right. That's right. But did not cut it with God. No. 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 Not one I order. Not at all. Oh Jesus. If you dress for impress God. Sorry. That's right. Amen. Not in the fig leaf could have it. When I am use it. God is bigger. Yes. Than our dress code. Yes. And the most beautiful thing you can see yes. when Easter comes. Oh, yes. All the women deck out yes. with some broad hats. Yes. Come into church. Yes. To see if they can beat sister so and so. Yes, uh -huh. That's right. The men then come. Yes, some with tight pants <laughs> and some with no pants at all. Oh, mm -mm. <laughs> but then come for impressed too. Impressed. Yeah. That's the trap, somebody. Mm -hmm. Not God will. Listen, listen. I, I, the first time, some years ago, about two years ago, somebody sent me something with a, a new pastor come to a church. <laughs> and he come to the church in just like a vagabond. Yes, sir. And sit by a church step. Yeah, yeah. He sit on the church step. Begging, yes. and everybody passing. Some pass wide, some come close to him, and when he realizes, I see them walk away go the other side. Yeah. It was a test. And then, when they introduced the speaker, wow. mm -hmm. I want to introduce to you the speaker, the new pastor of this church. He come out, come up, and in pulpit name, rugged clothes. And say, Mister, don't out then all of you pass me up. Nothing that damn they give me. And then he preached from that. All right? So you look with impress. He impressed you with him clothes. Dressed like a puss. A puss? Okay. Cut puss. Cut puss. Okay. <laughs> Whatever that is. But God take you out of darkness and place you to his marvelous light. And that's all we do need of you. And so we go to First Peter now. Mm -hmm. Come know you. Chapter three, verse three and four. Me take my time, all right? Yeah. Okay. Me soon done anyway. Cause I preach on God church this morning. God preach already, so this is my second time for the day. Right. Chapter three, three and four. Who's adorning? Let it not be that outward adorning plate in the ear. Uh huh. I don't know dreadlocks, yeah. <laughs> Think you're impressing anybody. You're not impressing anybody. I don't know that fact. Let me, before we go back to the scripture, let me tell you something. When I was a young boy coming up, all my friends was Rasta. But I couldn't be a Rasta anymore because my mother killed me. <laughs> if my hair go one day without comb, <laughs> Mama gear comb, I'll call you. And she now wake up a year. And she now play picking it. Somebody may know sitting in here right now. When she start to come in here, it's like in turn up the amplifier. Crying out. You could see a mile away. And hear the person crying. But mama not care. 
If you want, if you don't want me to do this, comb your ear. All right. All right. Let me, let me just go back to the scripture. <laughs> Some of you know me at that point, not you? Praise the Lord. You, you know the most amazing thing when we find out. You know when your mother loves you. And you love your mother, no matter how hard she do it, it didn't bother you so much. Mm. So we find out, say, my wife, mother, love her. Because she's the only one who can comb her hair. All the children, none of them. She's the only one who can comb her hair. Because we are eating ourselves and you're We can't comb her anymore. Anybody in your world like me? You know, we don't want to talk about the song, you know, but there's a song with my boy called the Kitch Burnies. Oh, yeah. We got a fine comb to comb your hair. And the two of you. Who the darling, let it not be out while the darling of plate in the ear. And of wearing a go of gold and putting up her hair. If me said to all of you in here, who say a piece of gold and then stand up and get the world church to stand up? Because you really need to look good. Yes, sir. Me not a problem with that. And it's not about you anyway. Praise the Lord. And me used to, I know a church where people used to curse them up because they dress too much. And they wear lipstick and then wear rouge or what they call it. And they fix up themselves. Sometimes you can know who they are. And so some of the churches in the neighborhood are in the area. So I cursed them out as a something of the church. Well, the pastor was a well known pastor. Come on TV. And so some of you who cursed them out, no one in the white people no want to live with you. Because so you buy the house and so you keep it. You know, paint it up. <laughs> you don't paint up your house. And it becomes a room. Yes. Ruined it. And yes, it makes the neighborhood go down. And you say, God give your house. Keep it looking good. <laughs> Oh Jesus. Wow. Yes. Oh, Where was I? <laughs> but let not be the hidden man of the heart. Let it be the hidden man of the heart. In that which is not corrupt ever. In the ornament of a meek and quiet spirit, which in the sight of God of great price. Praise the Lord. Here we see the hidden man of the heart. Your spirit mm -hmm. is not corrupt. All right. God give you a spirit that comes straight from heaven from him. It's not corrupt. Sure. Yeah. Can't sin. He said, whenever you're gonna, if you're gonna use your life to show anything, yes. make it come from the heart. The hidden man of the heart. Mm. Let him lead you and guide your love. This pilgrim pathway. Yes. You can't just do anything you feel like right. unless it comes from the heart. Yes, Amen. Praise the Lord. Lord. Amen. Yeah. Mm -hmm. When that pastor dressed up the man and hidden mm -hmm. one of the heart, tell to do this, make people see. Right. So you can bring out something to them. Yes. That you can care more for the poor. Right. Yes. Amen. Yes. Yes. Even the ornament of a meek mm -hmm. spirit. You ever read it and we don't understand what it really mean. You understand me? Me can quiet spirit which is in the sight of God a great price. So when you allow your spirit to talk to you, when you have the spirit of God in you to talk to you, and you hope be, God please with you. And we say you just good, not good enough. We please God. Unless it's coming from the heart. Amen. So then this is telling us to close ourselves with the beauty Amen. from within. Amen. Some of you, not you, no, no, not you. 
The Holy Spirit just said, listen, your dress is too tight. Mm -hmm. right. Man, I'm going to lose